Huh? I think the Zion trying to tell you something. How's it going everyone? I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I do my liquify effect. First thing you want to do is make an adjustment layer. You can either right click, new, adjustment layer, or control alt y, or go up here to layer, new, adjustment layer. Find where you want the effect to start, trim that adjustment layer, and the effect we're going to be using is liquify. Go towards the end of your layer, we're going to be using the first tool right here. I'm going to increase the pressure to around 70 to 80. Just play along with these values until you get something that you want. And before we start liquefying, we're gonna make sure we keyframe distortion mesh offset. And we're gonna click right here to the location. We're gonna select the center of what you want liquefied. Now that that's set, now you can do the effect. Since we don't want the effect to move like this, we're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna relocate it back to the center again. If it looks jittery like that, it's just because of your preview. So if you switch that to full, you'll see it goes back to normal. The last thing we're gonna do is distortion percentage. Keyframe this at the beginning of your adjustment layer. Drag that keyframe to the end. And we're gonna set the first one to zero. This will give it an animation that it's liquefying. And then if you wanna liquefy something else as well, you can duplicate this, go to the beginning and just reset this, disable the keyframes and do all those steps over again. So first thing you're gonna do is go to the end, create the offset, select the center, go to your tool, change the values, liquefy it, go to the beginning, change the center once again, keyframe percentage, start it at 0%. You can also mess with these values if you don't want too much. I'm gonna decrease this just a little bit. i do this one more time. Keyframe percentage, go to the beginning, set it to zero. We're gonna add a quick shake in here, and I'm gonna use my preset effects pack, the standard shake, and let's see what we got. If you wanna learn more about editing, feel free to check out the editing courses on djmedia.com.